Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do what I call true pixel or true position um, movement. It's kind of an uh, advanced custom movement. Um, I already have all the events set up, uh, but so I'll just be showing you how it works. Basically, in global values, you want to have player true x, player true y, player acceleration, and player y speed, player x speed, acceleration divisor, and max speed um, as your different uh, variables. Set player acceleration to something and then player divisor to something. Is the speed that you're going to be accelerating at is going to be the accelerator divided by the divisor. Um, so in this case, I'm going to be moving at uh, half a pixel <coughs> per frame, or accelerating a half a pixel per frame. Max speed is going to be uh, six, and for the purposes of showing this, I'm going to set the accelerator to two. Um, in moving, start a frame, set true x to x and true y to y, just so you start where you put your object. Always, this is just, I'm done, this to keep everything going in order and organized. Um, you don't need to do start loops, you don't need to do fast loops, but I just do all these fast loops um, in this order one time. So accelerate, then decelerate, then set the speed limit, then move left, right, up and down. Accelerate if um, the joystick is moved top, add negative one times the acceleration uh, divided by acceleration divisor plus 0 0.0 to y speed. Um, this is basically saying if we have it moved, if we're moving up, then first we have to take the acceleration divisor and set it to a string and then add a point zero to the end of it so that we get a decimal because if you don't do that it'll just end up it'll round to it'll round down to the nearest whole number and we need a decimal so make it point zero and then change it back to a value and then uh, divide the accelerator by that number and then add that to the y speed and then left is negative one, and then all that to the x speed, and then down and right are just the same things without negative one. <clears throat> um, on decelerate, if the joystick is not moved up, and the joystick is also not moved down, and y speed is greater than zero, then basically just make it, you can copy what is, um, move down, just, er, y speed is greater than zero, copy move top over to this, and that's basically saying if we're moving up and we're not moving up or, we're not holding up or down, then um, make it start subtract, yeah, subtracting until we get to negative, or until we get to zero. On decelerate, if it's not moved up or down and it's lower than zero, then copy what's for move down so that we constantly add to the um, value. Next, decelerate, and it's not moved left and not moved right and it's greater than zero, then add negative one times accelerator divided by divisor. Um, to x speed. That's the same thing as um, move left. You can copy that down to here. And then move not move left or right and it's lower than zero. It's the same thing as moved right. And then just copy those and then uh, negate all of them again so that they're not negated. So that if they're holding down both of them at the same time, it'll do the same thing as if they're holding down neither of them. Um, speed limit is basically saying if player Y speed is greater than the max speed, set the player Y speed to max speed. If player Y speed is lower than negative one times the max speed, set the player Y speed to negative one times the max speed. Same thing for X, and that just means that you can't go faster than whatever speed you have set to the max speed. 
uh, move left, uh, on loop move left if player X speed is lower than zero and is not overlapping a backdrop. Add player X speed to player true X and then set the position to player true X. This basically means that we can have a, um, our position be a decimal um, and we can move by things like we can move by 0.2 pixels instead of having to move by one pixel as the minimum. Uh, and then do the same thing for x speed is greater than zero and y speed lower than zero, y speed's uh, greater than zero for right up and down. And then for the y speeds, add y speed to y true x, uh, and then set the y position instead of the x positions. And then copy those and then make it so that if they do overlap the backdrop, um, that you're adding the x speed times negative one and then setting the position again and then x speed times negative one the y speed times negative one y speed times negative one and then set the y position again basically that means that if you're overlapping backdrop it'll try to push you back to wherever you were uh, before you were overlapping it so now if you run the frame you can see <clears throat> I'm getting kind of lower FPS because of I'm recording um, but as you can see, I am moving slower than my Y speed is kind of odd, actually. Don't, don't know why it's setting it to such an oddly low number. Um... Maybe you just can't have the values be too low, because I tried this at 0.5 and it worked fine. Yeah. So now I can walk around, and as you can see, I'm going at like a, if I open the global values, I'm moving for some frames at half a frame per second, I'm sliding at like half a frame per second, and I'm accelerating, decelerating at the correct speeds, and if I hit the wall, it'll stop me. And I can hit it on all sides and I can't go through it. Um, just make sure that these are obstacles if you've forgotten to set that. And you might see that like I'm hitting them and I'm hitting them and still off. That's just because I'm hitting them at six pixels per second, six pixels per frame. And so it's setting me back six pixels per frame. But if you stop holding the button, it'll like go to where it's supposed to. So thanks for watching. You can find the example in the link in the description. And I will see you next time.